Welcome to Friday of Holy Week 2020. Want to know why it's called Good Friday? This is Dr. Steve Kobernick, pastor of prayer at the Rock Church and World Outreach Center, and this is the sixth of seven three-minute imaginary prayers of Jesus at the beginning of each day. Think about this concluding conversation Yeshua could have had with his father about what was on his heart in Gethsemane just after midnight. Then read Psalm 22 and Isaiah 53, 10-12 to understand Yeshua's perspective. If you'd like to catch his intercessory struggle just before this, read Matthew 26, 36-44. Yes, thy will be done, Abba. You must turn your face away from me and forsake me, going far from me, when all the evil of all of history comes upon me and I become sin for the many, so they can have our righteousness reckoned to them instead. The necessity of you abandoning me and pouring out our holy wrath against all willful wickedness upon me is what will kill me, not the physical torture or bloodshed. But I'm willing to be the sacrifice for the rewards it brings. This makes those who seek you able to find you and be adopted by you. This makes me able to heal all who are oppressed by Satan and justify the unjust so they can live in our holy presence. This frees Ruach, our spirit, to be able to regenerate and sanctify all who repent and put their faith in us so we can dwell in them and they can be our people. All the families of the nations shall worship before us forever. O Yeshua, my son, my grief and heartbreak will also be great, and so too for Ruach. We rejoice that you know why we must do this and that you are still willing. I've been thinking, dear Abba, pouring out your wrath on me could take some time as my life flows away. Those I love will be watching and grieving for my physical pain. How can I change the subject and let them know that it's for the joy of the salvation of them and all my people that I must die this way? Beloved Son, when you sense that our wrath is nearly finished, begin to quote the psalm that begins with, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? They will be able to remember how it ends or look it up. And when you are ready to give up your spirit, lift up the shout of triumph. Thank you, Abba. I will. What's that I hear? The soldiers, son, coming to arrest you. Keep your eye on Simon Peter. He's going to need some help.